Hi, this is Abhimanyu and in this video tutorial, you are going to learn how to use for each loop in Razor View Engine. Okay, now to learn this title, let's open up the Visual Studio. Now here's the Visual Studio open for me and let's create a MVC project on desktop. Clicking on File, New, Project and uh, select here ASP.NET MVC 3 web application and type a name uh, for the project uh, test of uh, for each and location and desktop and click on ok it will pop to select the template I'll select the MPT project and view engine and razor and check to use HTML5 semantic markup and at the end click on ok now a MPT project uh, is available on the screen let's uh, firstly add a model by right clicking on model add and the class type a uh, class name here uh, student and click on add now add a property in uh, a student class prop now add a controller right click on controller add controller and type its name as home and then click on add now here is the uh, controller open for uh, action result as index now uh, add the view for this index right click here and navigate to add view but before adding the view we need to build this application so that uh, the model uh, will available uh, uh, for our view so let's cancel it and build the project first click on build and build ok success now again click on index and add the view check here for the strongly typed and select the uh, student model and click on add ok here is the uh, index view for us type some uh, text here this is my home page now let's add uh, another action result in our uh, home controller for this copy this and paste this again rename this as browse now let's create uh, the list for the uh, student model for this uh, type the following code here what I'm doing here, I have created uh, a std name and a list for the student model, and the same I have assigned following values for the name field that we have created under uh, a student uh, model. We are missing to include the namespace for the student model. For this, click on a student and by pressing control click on dot and then press on enter it will automatically add namespace for the model student now let's add uh, a view for the browse action result for this right click here and navigate to add view and click on add now here is the uh, browse view let's add uh, for each razor view code here that's here for each and where std name in model and the same I am using the razor view std name dot name to refer the student model here is some error that is for is a statement cannot operate oh oops for this uh, I need to add I enable here just cut it and type I enumerable and paste it here now everything is fine here now run the application and test it this is our uh, index view here let's navigate to browse home that is our controller name slash browse that is our action result plus enter here is the magic of Razor View Engine. 
If you want to learn some more videos on MPC, open the following blog. You can get your list of videos. Thank you.